Fishes are an extremely diverse group of vertebrate animals with more than 27,000 species. Among all these animals, most of them share a common trait, scales. Scales are the fish's armor, and just like if you wore armor, it protects the fish from other organisms and its surrounding environment. There are four basic types of scales. Placoid, cosmoid, ganoid, and cycloid and tenoid. Placoid scales are found in the group chondrichthys, which include the sharks, rays, and chimeras. These scales are commonly called dermodenticles because each scale has a layer of dentine with a pulp cavity supplied with blood, just like our teeth. And as the animal grows and gets older, these scales do not get larger, but instead new scales are added in between the old ones. The fusion of placoid scales is probably what gave rise to the cosmoid scales. These scales are found in fossil lobe fin fishes, which include the coelacanth and the lungfishes. Recent lungfishes have lost the dentine layer that was found in the placoid scales. Instead, these scales have a dentine-like structure called cosmin. These scales grow as the fish gets older instead of adding new ones in between. Now, if the cosmin layer was replaced by dentine with a layer of a substance called ganoin, we would have the ganoid scales. These scales are found in primitive fishes such as the beechers, reed fishes, sturgeons, paddlefishes, gars, and the bowfin. These scales are usually rhomboidal in shape and have an articulating peg and socket joints. Then there are scales that actually overlap, providing much more flexibility than the cosmoid and ganoid scales. These scales have evolved from the ganoid scales by losing the ganoid layer and the cycloid and tenoid scales. The cycloid scales are rounded in the posterior, while the tenoid scales have small teni at the ends. These are the most common scales and are found on many fishes you may already know. Even though there are only four basic types of scales, there is an enormous amount of diversity. Some fishes have scales that are microscopic, such as the freshwater eels. Some fishes have very large scales, such as the Indian masseer. Some fishes might not have any scales at all, such as the catfishes. Then there are some fishes that have scales that have become extremely modified, such as the barb of stingrays, the teeth of sawfishes, the spines of porcupine fish, and the warts of lump fishes. Since so many fishes have scales that grow as the fish grows, scientists are able to see how the fish has grown and the age of the fish. And hopefully scales will be able to tell us more about the fishes and their environment in the near future.